folks, Rich here at FMS Models. Today I have my favorite uh, uh, series of, of the entire FMS line, and that is the, uh, the 1700 millimeter uh, series of planes. This is the P47 Thunderbolt. Uh, this is the, uh, the Norma paint job. Uh, it also has Little Bunny written on the other side here. Uh, but this is the dual camo version. It also comes in a all silver uh, Hun the Hunter uh, version as well. Uh, if you like the 1400 millimeter series that FMS puts out, uh, you're going to love the 1700s. Uh, for everybody out there that flies gas, glow, you know, wood airplanes, uh, uh, fiberglass airplanes, uh, this 1700 series, which translates to 67 inches of wingspan, uh, really gives you a reason to start looking at electric. These things just fly fantastic. They do about 80, 85, 90 miles an hour. Uh, but uh, price-wise, you know, you're looking at around the three to four hundred dollar range, really, for uh, uh, an all-inclusive receiver-ready airplane. So you add your receiver, uh, your six-cell battery, and you're off flying with this thing. Uh, it assembles really with just a few screws. It comes with contact cement uh, uh, to glue just uh, your pitot tubes and your guns on and so forth. But otherwise, you screw this thing together, you put your horns and rods on, and uh, you're off flying. So it really is a nice package. Now, uh, up front, uh, driving this giant 17-inch uh, beautiful scale propeller uh, is a 50, 60, 300 kV brushless outrunner. Uh, the speed controller on board is an 85 amp with an onboard um, uh, 8 amp BEC to drive all of the nine servos uh, that, are, that are installed in this thing. All the main flight controls uh, are powered by 25 gram servos, so they're almost like a standard size uh, servo uh, powering, again, all your, all your flight controls. Now, it is a six cell airplane, uh, 3,300 up to 4,000. Uh, and you get lots of flight time with, uh, with either one of those. Now to give you a closer look at this thing, uh, looking inside the uh, cockpit, I'm going to go ahead and pull the canopy off. It has some little catch mechanisms here with a tongue and groove in the front. And the pilot detail is uh, simply awesome. I'm going to peek and get in and zoom in on this thing. There's just awesome instrument detail in here. Uh, they painted the inside of the uh, canopy black and everything. All the, D all the instruments are painted and everything. It's just a really phenomenal uh, cockpit that they put on here, even with the pilot's name and everything. Now I'm going to pick up uh, the airplane and show you the inside of this. You get an idea how big this thing is. Uh, I'll show you what uh, the cockpit or the uh, battery compartment looks like. The battery and the ESC are way down there in the nose. Uh, you can see here where the uh, main wing bolts uh, join the wing together. My receiver is right here. I went ahead and I put my, uh, my uh, um, uh, landing gear door sequencer board Velcro there. And this is one of the nicest features of all the FMS planes, and you'll see this in a lot of my videos. Single point wing connectors, guys. So no longer do you have uh, uh, an aileron, a flap, a landing gear, uh, and, a, and a wing tip light wire, because this has lights. You don't have four wires coming in from each wing. You simply have a single point connector to plug in. And that's it. So you plug two spars in, you plug uh, these individual um, um, uh, uh, single point wing connectors in, your four screws, and uh, you're ready to fly. So it's very easy to transport this thing. You can see where I have my receiver here. Your elevator and rudder servos are mounted right here. It's a really, really clean design. Now I'll go ahead and pop this thing back on. You can see how this fits on. You just pop it into position and your canopy snaps right in. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip it around to the underside and show you some of the features underneath this thing. You can see simply me standing next to this uh, how huge of a model this thing really is. The suspension on this thing is just spectacular. It just has excellent compression. Uh, four and a half inch uh, spongy tires guys to handle really any surface that you're going to fly off of. You can see it has uh, retracting doors, uh, main and uh, tail. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing up so Pete can get a good zoom in on uh, all of the uh, retracts and everything. And I'm going to show you how these things cycle. Now they have really nice metal trunnions here. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, retract the gear for you. You can see the tailwheel door closed. And the inner door is closed in a very scale fashion. Isn't that slick, guys? Again, tail doors, main doors. And uh, this thing is uh, just fantastic. It all comes from the factory, just the way you see it this way. Let me go and extend the gear for you. Inner door is open. Tail wheel comes out. And you can see these nice, very scale, uh, staggered gear doors that they have in this thing. Uh, also on the underside here, uh, if you take a look at uh, the, uh, the bombs, you can choose whether you want to fly with these or not. But there's a real just nice snap-on design. There's just uh, foam bombs that you 
you, you clip on and you clip off. Now also, I when I was talking about the large servos, you can see how the flaps, ailerons, uh, elevator rudder, all have large 25 gram servos. So um, they're almost like really like a standard size servo. Now as I flip this thing towards the back, I'll show you the, uh, the back end of this thing and the, uh, the flaps. Now uh, I'll go ahead and extend uh, one setting for you. And you can see there's a takeoff setting I usually put in and there's a landing setting. I like to set those up. You'll see in a lot of my videos on a three position switch. So your, uh, your up switch is zero flaps. Uh, one setting down is for takeoff, the next setting down is for landing, and that's really a good way to, uh, to set it up. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, I have this thing set up. It's uh, plugged in, uh, ready to go. Quick flight control check here, and uh, we're going to taxi this thing on out, and we're going to give you a flight demo of the uh, giant 1700mm P47. Alright guys, as I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and taxi the P47 out put in one setting of flaps. Uh, one thing about this 1700 millimeter uh, P47 is that it's, uh, it's a little bit light in the tail, so I really taxi this thing with uh, this full stick all the way back. Uh, and it's balanced right at the CG, at the uh, factory CG. Uh, and I find that when I get rolling down the runway, you start releasing the elevator a little bit. You see it bounce around there a little bit. Uh, but we get it lined up here, start applying power, a little bit of right rudder. The tail will come up nicely at about half throttle. And then you start applying full and it lifts off really nicely. Gear's coming up, flaps are coming up. And we'll get it here down to the downwind. I usually give it a little bit of time to let those center doors come up, but the center doors come up pretty quick on this airplane. I'll give you guys just a clean flyby of the airplane, as slow as I can get it here safely with no flaps. You can see how graceful a flying plane this thing is. Nice and smooth, nice and low. Just very precise. Go ahead and bring it to the downwind. I'm going to roll it around a couple times here. Just very aerobatic. They called this thing the jug in World War II. All right, let me go ahead and give you a full flap flyby here. Flaps are all the way in. And we'll get it really slow here. Now this plane does have a lot of drag with the flaps, so you do have to carry a little bit of power. But you can see how it'll slow down nicely. Almost like a kite, guys. This thing's almost like a trainer the way it flies. All right, full throttle flaps are coming up. Rolling around again. And I'll give you a full throttle flyby here. Power's coming in. Right down the center line. Just fantastic. I'm going to pull it up to the half Cuban 8 here, roll it around. Very precise model, guys. This thing just is such a good flyer. Again, if, like I said, if you guys like the 1400 millimeter Warbirds, you, you guys will love this, this 1700. It's just such a nice, uh, just such a nice size model. I'll bring it in here to the center, give you guys some steep turns. Very stable, very rock solid. We had a little wind out here before, but uh, it has calmed down. It's given us an opportunity to really show you this thing. You can see how this thing tracks that steep turn just so nicely. Roll it to the downwind. Just fun, fun, fun. All right, I'm going to give you guys a little inverted flight on this thing. This is not the, uh, this plane probably doesn't really like flying inverted too much. But, uh, but it will do it. You just got to be on it to do it. You can see how stable it is. With that dihedral, it sort of wants to roll around on you a little bit, but you can see it. It flies pretty nice. It'll, it'll do it. Now you'll notice as you're flying this thing around, uh, you can actually see the, uh, the wingtip lights on it, uh, even here during the broad daylight in some angles. Bring it around again here, guys. Just outstanding, folks. I'll roll it around. And I'll bring it by again here into the center. Get the underside here. Just a spectacular point. Now I'm going to see if I can give you guys a presentation pass here. Show you the top side in a flyby here. Just spectacular. 
All right, I'll give you guys a couple of uh, rolls here again. Just simply a fun plane to fly, guys. These larger airplanes just are, are just, they just fly a little better, obviously. Uh, you know, smaller planes, the wind beats them up a little bit more, but these big planes, uh, it is not a problem. They are just so smooth. They handle the wind a little bit better. Now I'll give you, uh, see if I can give you some point rolls here. All right, outstanding. Now I'm gonna bring this thing around, give you guys some uh, touch and goes, the gear coming down. And I'm gonna roll this thing out on final. Bring it in some power. And give you a little touch down here. Now this P47 is like a kite, guys. It, uh, it just floats and floats and floats. So um, it's the kind of thing where uh, you just got to plan your speed well with this thing. Now I'll go ahead and put a setting of flaps in. So far I've found I really don't like to land it so much with full flaps. I like one setting of flaps. Uh, I know I said I use a full to land in, but I found one setting uh, creates just enough drag. Two settings, uh, it seems to be almost a little too much drag. But you see there it's nicely down there. One setting of flaps. Go ahead and we'll take off again with it. Gear and flaps are coming up. Now this entire flight, guys, I'm at about 2,900 I've burned on a, uh, on a 4,000 pack. And you can see you get a reasonable uh, flight time out of this thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on in now. Uh, gear and flaps are down. And see if I can plan this approach good. About half power right now. It does tend to balloon a lot, this airplane. Bringing the power out very carefully. A nice touch down there. Very carefully pulling the stick back. And I usually dump the flaps. I just went ahead and uh, put the flaps up. That helps the airplane really settle on the ground. But uh, just what a spectacular flying airplane, guys. Uh, I'll taxi it on in here and uh, see if I can give Pete a good shot of it. I'll swing it around here. Just an awesome, awesome model, folks. All right, guys, that concludes uh, this uh, flight demo and review of the 1700 millimeter uh, P47 Thunderbolt. Uh, as you saw from that flying video, uh, it's just a tremendous performing airplane. It taxis great on the grass with the big uh, four and a half inch wheels. It has just tremendous suspension uh, in the wheels, guys, to handle any surface you might fly off of. Uh, overall, the, uh, the 1700 millimeter series, 67 inch uh, wingspan models from FMS, the, these airplanes, uh, really give you a reason to start looking at, uh, at electric airplanes, I think. Uh, it's my favorite series of, uh, of all the airplanes, and uh, it's hard to imagine that, you know, in the past, you could, I couldn't have even imagined uh, a plane of this size, this scale, with such a nice paint job, retractable gear, flaps, you know, for the three to $400 price range. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unreal that, uh, you know, now we can get airplanes like this that are so easy to build, uh, easy to put together at the field, uh, and they just fly fantastic, folks. Uh, they're nice and quiet as well, too. I mean, they make a good sound, as you can tell from the video, uh, but they're not so loud where they, uh, they upset the, uh, the neighbors and the, the people that are, uh, you know, off of their houses around fields and so forth. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, check out the 1700 millimeter uh, Warbird series from FMS with the P-47 Thunderbolt. Thanks for checking out that, this video. Thanks for watching FMS, and as always, we'll see you next time.